It's a it's a very special recognition of our work. And it's not just me, you know, like uh, science and research is always a teamwork. So it's a recognition of the impact and of the work of our lab and our collaborators have been doing. And I feel like I'm just representing uh, our team that has been doing this for 25 years. And in a way, you know, when I, I started 25 years ago, um, I kind of had a vision of what we would like to do. And I feel like we accomplished a lot, but we still have a lot of work to do. But it's a, it's a really great honor and nice recognition of our impact of the work. In the award lecture, I'd like to just kind of give an overview of what our lab has been doing, but particularly focus on a, a topic that, you know, when I started, that's what we wanted to solve, like why some breast cancers progress, others don't. You know, like there is this early stage breast cancer called ductal carcinoma in situ that's very commonly diagnosed. And then right now, 25 years ago, we didn't know why some women will develop progressive disease, others don't. And we made a lot of progress, especially in the last um, five, 10 years, I feel like uh, many others started working on this area. And, you know, our lab has done um, a lot of work starting 25 years ago. And then we kind of, you know, learned that we have to, you know, initially I and many others were focusing on the cancer cells and mutations. Then we learned that the tumor is a lot more. It's a whole kind of ecosystem. And then during the years, especially in the last 10 years, we got more into immunology. And then we realized that you actually have to look at the whole host. You know, you have to look at the patient. We have to study as an individual, not just the tumor, not just the cancer cell, but that particular person, because everything seems to be linked and, you know, your whole immune history and um, who you are and what other life exposures had could all impact the tumor. And that's what we're trying to understand, how we can have better markers that in, of predicting risk of progression or ideally even risk of disease um, that would be based on um, combination of the tumor, but also the individual. And the more markers we can use, the more accurate the prediction um, will be. So, so that's the whole theme that something we have been working on for 25 years, you know, to understand this progression and the role of different, the microenvironment, the immune changes, the heterogeneity. And uh, that's what I, I will present. You know, it's only, it's a 30 minute talk, so it's hard to um, discuss everything. And I wanna give a kind of a bit historical overview, but also some new data that we have that we're very excited about. So that's what will be covered. Mm -hmm.